Well, an echocardiogram is amongst um, the most uh, commonly requested test in cardiology. It's an investigation that's very versatile, very patient friendly, and it really has an application right through heart disease from patients with known disease or even patients with uh, suspected heart disease. So an echocardiogram is performed with a probe that's placed on the, on the chest. Uh, the probe is placed in different locations. We like to look at the heart from different angles. That helps it yield more useful information. Uh, the type of technology is similar to a pregnancy scan uh, and the ultrasound travels well through fluids. So we place a little bit of gel on the skin surface, cold gel, and we move the probe into different locations um, and capture a variety of different images of the heart, looking at the structure of the heart, looking at the function of the heart. So an echocardiogram is a very simple test. Um, the most common type of echocardiography is what we would call transthoracic echocardiography, which is entirely non-invasive um, on the skin surface. Um, and essentially the test would take between 20 minutes and half an hour, a whole range of different types of images are required um, and it allows us to look at how well the heart's functioning, looking at the ventricles, the pumping chambers of the heart, the top collecting chambers of the heart, the valves, uh, the pericardium around the outside of the heart. Um, it's very patient friendly in the sense that it's painless um, and it can be easily repeated, which is important because it often is used to follow a long-standing disease process to see if things are changing over time. The, the test is uh, generally considered to be a very simple and straightforward test. Patients are very happy to have it. Um, it uh, requires the placement of the probe on the chest. It's generally considered to be painless. However, if we're pressing against the rib, there can be mild transient discomfort, which is not a big issue. Um, the important thing with echocardiography is that it's an ultrasound technique. It doesn't require any ionizing radiation. So there are alternative investigations that we can do. Or well, echocardiography lends itself to repeat imaging and follow-up scanning because it's very, very safe and free of ionizing radiation. Well, there's a wealth of data that can be generated for an echocardiogram. We can make a variety of measurements of the sizes of the chambers of the heart, the function of the ventricles of the heart. We use a technique known as Doppler to evaluate the flow of blood within the heart. That's particularly helpful looking for evidence of valve disease. And we can also look at the associated structures close to the heart, for example, the aortic root and the membranes around the heart, the, the pericardium. Um, it's an investigation that lends itself so really all areas of cardiology, there are very few cardiac diseases where an echocardiogram isn't, isn't helpful in understanding the disease and managing the patient.